Time for a fish room update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with a fish room update for April 2018. Um, thought I would just go through all the tanks and uh, we'll try to get a separate shrimp update and a separate reef update in as well. Before I start, if you are interested in buying any Southern Delight fish food, I do sell it in bulk. My email will be below and you can contact me for pricing and to purchase. Um, I carry the entire line of Southern Delight fish food in bulk and also in bottles. So. Um, let me know if you're interested in some and we'll go from there. Um, we'll start upstairs in the office with Cheetos tank, Cheetos and Amphilophus Centronellus, aka Midas Citrus, Cic Cichlid, sorry. And uh, he's got a female in here as well. You may remember I pulled the other female uh, a few months ago um, and uh, hoping that that would get these two to really bond. That hasn't happened unfortunately, but we're going to continue to work on it. <clears throat> um, I may move this pair downstairs to one of the two tens. Um, I've got an idea on something different I want to do with this tank up in my office. And if I decide to go through with that, um, these guys will be moving downstairs, but definitely never getting rid of this fish. So um, you can see a reflection behind you. The 90 gallon planted is kind of doing a rebound. I have rescaped it. Um, growing back the Monte Carlo, I ran into a Blackbeard algae problem. As you can see, um, I got rid of it completely. It grew back, um, and now I think I have it under control with some peroxide treatments. You can see it's kind of whitish and going away on these rocks. I drained the tank down to about this level and sprayed it. Um, you can see the stuff that didn't get hit is still growing. I'm going to just remove those rocks and treat it outside of the tank. But uh, things are doing good. Uh, I'm working on growing the Monte Carlo carpet back. Um, it's really grown a lot in the last few weeks. Got a couple pieces of uh, Aerial Vietnam in here that kind of accent the uh, hardscape. Um, hardscape's made of dragonstone. I've got cardinal tetras and um, cherry shrimps, most of which are painted fire red quality. Looking to pick up some more cherry shrimps and some more cardinal tetras to add to this. But I've just been kind of concentrating on getting the aquascape under control at this point. So here's kind of a wide view of it uh, so you can see kind of what I've done. Start off over here with uh, my uh, flower horn or one of my flower horns. This is Colossus. He's a 9.9 .9, um, King Confa, doing real well. Um, had a lot of compliments on him lately. Um, it's kind of funny, um, a couple weeks ago we had a local fish show here, um, our annual Minnesota Aquarium Society fish show. I actually did um, set up an aquatic support systems booth for the first time, um, selling some uh, Southern Delight and some livestock, um, plants, fish, shrimp, and some used equipment, stuff like that. Um, I didn't realize how many people locally actually pay attention to my videos. Um, and a lot of people came up and asked about this guy and asked about Cheetos, so that's kind of cool that these guys have, are known by other people out there and enjoy watching these fish. So, But anyway, he's doing well. Um, I'm not sure if I filmed a video since I removed the loaches, but I took all the loaches out of here and they're over in one of the 210s. I'll get to that later. Uh, down below, I've got my other Midas and his female. They've spawned a few times in the last few months. Um, sometimes I, I've, I've been able to pull fry. Other times they eat. They've eaten the eggs. They've eaten the wigglers. They've eaten the free swimmers. Um, so it's just a matter of uh, hopefully they'll continue to uh, get good at it and be regular spawners and kind of go from there. So. Over here is, oh, sorry for the drips on the tank, um, uh, Rio Blanco male Moda. Um, and there is a female down in this pot, but she's kind of limited to that area. She doesn't like to come out except to eat because he's pretty rough on her. Um, he's just too big for her, so I don't know that I'll ever get a pair bond out of them. 
So I gotta figure out what I wanna do as far as that goes. But he's looking great. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say about them at this point. Up above is the other flower horn. This is the red magma. Uh, he's been doing real well too. And as you can see, the loaches are out of that tank, just like the other flower horn tank. Get a side view of them, there we go. Um, I had thought about getting rid of this guy for a while and I mentioned it in videos, um, but I'm, I've really come to, to like him lately. Seems like more red has really come out in him as of late and uh, that's the trait that I was really hoping for when I got this fish. So He's got this weird black dot on his lower lip there, but doesn't seem to be harming anything, so I haven't really gotten too worried about it. Yeah. All right, we'll come on over here and uh, take a look at. So this rack, I think when I did the last video, um, I had an open spot down below because the 125 that I had uh, sprung a leak or the seal failed, and um, I was able to get reimbursed by Marineland, which is great. If you guys ever have product failures with Marineland products, their customer service, in my opinion, is second to none. You do need to just make sure you're holding on to your receipts when you buy this stuff, but they take care of you. So they paid me for the 125 and I used that to put it towards a, a new 180. And what I've done is I've put the Trimax down here now. So I've still got eight of them, a couple of the bigger ones. And I'm just looking to uh, secure a pair and uh, then I'll get rid of all the rest. So we'll see what happens, but uh, they should be nice and happy in a 180. Uh, up above is uh, one of the uh, Hadiensis pairs. He's gotten really rambunctious lately. Of course, on camera, now he's not going to do it, but um, she's looking great. They spawned once in here with the divider when the Trimax were on the other side and they were over here. Um, the fry made it to free swimmers. Um, I wasn't able to get them pulled and they didn't make it. Uh, I don't know if they ate them or if they swam over to the Trimax side and the Trimax got free launch, but. That's uh, what I can tell you about that. Uh, Redis Latus, I was able to get um, a small spawn out of them in the last few weeks and I pulled some fry. Um, it was a very small spawn, but I did what I could to get a, a good chunk of fry and uh, hopefully we'll grow them out and uh, down the road. They seem to, I mean her tube come, like right now her tube's out. It seems like they're going through the motions every about three weeks of spawning. But it's always down at the bottom of that tube, and so I never am able to tell if um, if their eggs got fertilized or not. I mean, obviously, like I said, I had one spawn that was successful recently, and there were free swimmers. But basically, I didn't know what happened until one day there were free swimmers uh, surrounding the mother, and uh, they were both real good parents, taking care of them real good, but. Uh, you might remember I tried pulling these tubes a while back and just putting like a piece of roofing tile and then she just hid under those at least with these tubes she's kind of swimming out all the time and stuff like that um, you know I think right now she's pretty much in spawning mode just giving the uh, the way she's acting and the way he's acting and some of the coloration and stuff like that uh, down below is the other Hadiensis pair um, there's a few fry left from their last spawn in there. You can see them swimming around. I wasn't able to get them really pulled when there was a big cloud and I tried netting. I don't know, there's eight or so visible ones. I tried netting them the other day and it was just impossible to, to do, so probably won't bother trying to get them out. But they're doing real good too. Um, and uh, yeah, this is probably the better of the two pairs I've got, but they're both real great specimens. So. Um, and over here we've got Magnus and Beast still. Um, oh, looks like Magnus knocked down, or Beast, the kind of shelter that I made for her. Um, they're still doing fine. Um, all of his ammonia burn has basically healed for, for the most part. Um, he's still picking on her quite a bit, as you can see. It's unfortunate. Um, once in a while she does swim around and they do good with each other, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. and. At this point, I don't really want to separate them, but at the same time, I'd really like them to get along, and I don't, uh, I don't want to see her get picked on so bad. I mean, it's 
No, it's nothing new. When Mike had this pair, he did the same thing. After every water change, he'd nip at her quite a bit, and that's just kind of how it went. So, um, so you can see this. Uh, just uh, something cool. I had this banner made for the fish show I was mentioning before. Uh, pretty inexpensive, and it, um, just didn't even think about it. But after the show, I thought, where could I put this to store it? And it fits perfect uh, on the stand down here. So it looks kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> the other Umbi pair, um, these guys are F1s. This is Magnus and B's son, and this came from another pair. You can see they um, just had a major spawn. A uh, bunch of free swimmers. I'm gonna yank some of these soon. I got a tank waiting for him. But they're doing good. Um, he's got an attitude like always, and uh, she's a real good mom. Protects them, protects the fry. Um, they spawn pretty regularly. I just don't always uh, get to pull them before they end up uh, eating the fry and stuff like that. So. All right, so down here, I can't remember if I did a video on this yet or not, but this is where Orion used to be, the Dovi. Um, the female, I think I did cover this. She jumped, died, unfortunate. Um, I ended up rehoming him uh, to a guy in the neighboring state over in Wisconsin. He came and picked him up, and, and he's doing real good. Um, I've seen pretty recent pictures of him uh, he sent me, and uh, he's still doing great, so that's good to know. Um, what I've got done here now is all the clown loaches, they're all hiding. Let's see if I can get them to come out. Sometimes it's kind of weird. They love veggie krill, which if you're um, not familiar, it's, a, it's one of Southern Delights fish food. They love veggie krill, but since I moved them down here, they don't come out for feedings until I'm gone, it seems like. Um, like they did upstairs. Uh, when they were in the Midas tank or even with the clown loach tanks um, There's no fish in here. So I think that um, Has something to do with it. They're able to hide Safely like loaches like to do they hide behind these sponge filters and pots and They just don't come out as much and they're not as active. Um, they do eat um, But it's just uh, usually not when I'm around I just spotted a dovi fry in there, that's kind of funny. You can see one of them over here right now. And a couple others. Alright, the signal's been sent that there's food, so now they're all going to come out, I think. Uh, there's probably 13 of them in here, maybe. It's just so weird how it's so different when there's no fish in the tank, when they can kind of do their own thing and they're comfortable just hiding. I believe that the fish um, keep them from always being in, in hiding just because there's something else swimming around out there or the fish bother them and get them out of their hiding spots. But anyway, there's some of the loaches. Had a pretty big one die on me a couple months back when it was still in the flower horn um, tank. I just noticed it starting to get skinnier and skinnier and it eventually it passed away. It wasn't eating. I don't know what the deal was. So Anyway, that's enough of the loaches. Um, up here is that other female Midas that I pulled from the tank upstairs before. And then check out this stunner of a male Motoguens. This is the one surviving fry that I, sorry, this tank's really scratched up, that I had from the original pair I got from Sean. Um, I was gonna sell this guy and I'm glad no one bought him because now he's really started to turn into something special and I'm gonna keep him and then hopefully get a female out of these other um, rollouts I've got that I'll show you in a second, but yeah. So um, what, I, what I'm, Going back to this tank where the loaches is, I plan on putting both female Midas and and uh, Cheeto in there more than likely if I end up changing um, the tank upstairs. Here's what I've got left of the Moda Growouts. 
Um, I've sold a bunch of them and I'm going to keep these, grow them out and see what I can't get. Um, try to get a good female. A couple more down there under the filter. Let's get these guys a little bit of food here. Give them some Southern Delight small salad. They just go crazy for it. And then finally, um, here's a handful of Midas fry from the Midas tank downstairs. Here is the last of the Dovi. I pulled the last um, bunch of fry that they had before um, she died and I got rid of him. Um, I had some bigger ones. I sold them all at our local fish store, fish show last weekend. I also got some plecos. These are a bunch of bushy nose in here and then a bunch of uh, albino bushy nose in here. And then these are the reddest latest. They're super small, but uh, there's a good bunch of them in there. But these dovi are really, throw a little food in here too, some nano krill. They're voracious eaters and they're growing like crazy. So, yeah, that's really about it for now. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in Southern Delight fish food, uh, hit me up. My email's in the um, little description section below and I can get you taken care of. Um, I just want to thank you, send a thank you to everybody that does uh, support me in the Southern Delight effort and also that uh, watches these videos, comments on them, and that type of thing. Uh, really grateful for all the subscribers and supporters. Uh, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and, and hit the notification bell so that you can get all my videos. I do pretty uh, regular updates on my fish room. I also have a couple of saltwater tanks and a bunch of shrimp tanks. I usually do those videos separately from these just to kind of add a little bit of a variety, but I'd love to have you as a, as a subscriber. Until next time, guys, thanks a lot for watching and take care.